One of the matchups that's been locked in for the first round of the NBA playoffs is the Dallas Mavericks versus the Los Angeles Clippers. And man, I'm anticipating this matchup big time right here. I love to see it. I'm um, the Dallas Mavericks. They're currently 16 and two of their last 18 games. And the fun fact here is that in the past five years, whenever these two teams matched up, the Clippers are two and zero against the Dallas Mavericks in the playoffs. So that kind of sets it up for a lot of people to favorite the Clippers. But if you start believing stats like that, I'm here to break some bad news to you, bro, because the Dallas Mavericks is going to win this series. And I say this based on the fact that Luka Doncic finally has someone to help him close out games. That's guaranteed to help him close out games. He has a man by the name of Kyrie Irving who is going to show up and be able to be that, that second punch that he's needed for the past two years anytime they played the Clippers or the past four years anytime Luka Doncic has went to the playoffs. Because you look at the stat like that, okay, yeah, it's been five years and the Clippers are 2-0 and anytime they played the Dallas Mavericks in the playoffs. Yeah, that stuff sounds real cute. It sounds fun. It sounds like, oh, the Clippers might have an edge. But, bro, when you really look into what was going on in those years, you, you kind of see, like, this stat is, is very, very deceiving, bro. Because when you look at 2020, going back a few years, this the first year they matched up here, Luka Doncic, he took a stacked, Clippers team to six games at 20 years old. This was his second year in the league. And he took this stacked Clicker Clippers team to six games by himself. There wasn't a single player on his team outside of Luka Doncic that averaged over 18 points that series. And yes, I know the Dallas Mavericks had Chris Stapps Porzingis, but Chris Stapps Porzingis played the first three games. Then guess what? He was injured game four. He was injured game five, and he was injured game six. So that was no use when they had him. And then the year after that, in 2021, Luka went on to play another stacked Clippers team. This team was stacked to the top, had a great bench and all of that. Still Paul George and Kawhi, and the same thing happened. Not a single player outside of Luka Doncic averaged over 18 points that series. And this time they even had Chris Stapps Porzingis healthy. Luka averaged 30 <laughs> he averaged 30 in both of those series at 20 and 21 years old against a stacked Clippers team. In 2021, they went to seven games. So shame on the Clippers for even letting it go that far. He didn't have any help on that team. So even though Luka averaged 30 and still lost, here's why it's going to be different. Because this time, the Mavericks have a legitimate one-two punch with Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic on this roster, bro. With Kyrie Irving playing off the ball, doing whatever he wants in the ISO game that he loves and that he's the best at when he's on the floor. And Luka Doncic is controlling the offense, being a distributor and getting other people involved, getting people open. Oh my gosh, this is a combination that's a match made in heaven because... Boy, I'm telling you, it's going to be hard to stop Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving on the same team. It's like the 2016 Cavs all over again offensively because you got somebody who loves to pass and loves to get his teammates involved who can score, meaning Luka Doncic. And you also got that boy who's a killer when he's on the island with a defender in Kyrie Irving. So you have a guaranteed bucket getter in Kyrie Irving who can score anytime and anywhere on the floor. And you have Luka Doncic, who is a, a hell of a creator and loves to pass the ball to his teammates. So that that's that's tremendous right there. All that bully ball on Luka, we're going to double team him. We're going to make sure um, he has to pull it up from deep and get 50 points if they want to get a win. Nah, that ain't happening. <laughs> that ain't happening this time. Because with the Clippers, uh, you know, they find ways to lose. And outside of their uh, few years where they beat the Dallas Mavericks, they don't they haven't had any success in terms of, you know, what you really want to accomplish in the playoffs. They made it out the first round. Woohoo! So much fun. So cool. Yeah, that's worth celebrating, right? <laughs> no, because their their past few playoff appearances, they haven't done anything. You look at the, the past few years of what they've done in the playoffs. 2023 first round exit after adding Russell Westbrook. They damn near got swept by the Phoenix Suns when they played them. They lost four to one. Still had a stacked team. They missed Paul George for a second, but this is what I'm always talking about. Somebody on that team is always unavailable. 
2022, they didn't even see the playoffs. They didn't have Kawhi Leonard a majority of the year, but they still ain't see the playoffs. That team should have been somewhat in the rankings for a playoff run or at least in the play in, damn it, damn. 2021, that's when they played Luka Doncic and he didn't have any help. The only time they seen some real competition in the playoffs is when they, that, that same year, 2021, they went all the way to the conference finals, but the round after the Dallas Mavericks, they played the Utah Jazz, bro. The, the, the dominant Utah Jazz, like the Utah Jazz was really kicking something that year. They wasn't doing nothing. They played the Suns and they got smacked up by the Suns. So, you know, I, I'm not proud of this Clippers team. They've never done anything that's got me hype about what they can do in the playoffs. Every time someone's either hurt, um, they're either playing bad or they're not playing at all. Um, or, you know, you got guys playing terrible if they are playing. So I, I just don't have faith in the Clippers, bro. And, you know, it's a lot of inconsistencies with that I've seen from them over the past few years. But maybe they'll show me something different. Maybe they won't. Who knows? But as far as the Clippers and the uh, Dallas Mavericks, I'm hoping to see those da Dallas Mavericks go all the way, um, at least to the to the Western Conference Finals. I think it would be dope to see them go play um, Nikola Jokic in the in, um, Western Conference Finals. And I'll touch on that, too, because we know who going back. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the it's the uh, Dallas, uh, the Denver Nuggets. They're going back. They're going back to the finals. So it's just a matter of who's going to meet them in the conference finals because, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not that many options in the West right now. <laughs>